Hey, hi everyone, welcome to this number fun nugget. Oi, 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 I brought you a present, Dave. <laughs> you brought me a present. Oh, it's, it's an enormous pair of scissors. You need a haircut. <laughs> well, let's get into that stage. In fact, I'm due to have a haircut today, um, but the, the hairdressers are shut. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, this is because because of uh, everyone's having to stay at home at the minute. Oh, look ridiculous, Dave. Yeah, you do. Thank you for my present, by the way. Oh, look ridiculous. You do look ridiculous. Look at that. Is it sugar? <laughs> it was a birthday present. It was a birthday present. Who was that from? Erin. Oh, your mum. Yeah. Oh, dear. When was your birthday? A little while ago, Dave. Oh, a little while ago. You're not telling me then? No. <laughs> okay. Seven times table today, then. Ailey, let's have your rhyme. What's the story? What does it look like? What do I need to know? What can we reason? What's the challenge? It's my birthday, yo! <laughs> it's my birthday, yo! Yeah, it's my birthday, Dave. <laughs> Drop me week, thank goodness. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's not quite your birthday today, but it was. In fact, today is about birthday countdown because um, you'll see there's a big connection between counting birthdays and weeks and days up to birthdays um, with the seven times table. But the last bit is, is not, it's wait before you go. Oh, not my birthday, yo. No, because what's going to happen at the end of the show, I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge, and your job will be to see if you can solve that challenge, maybe pausing the screen before I reveal the answers to my challenge. So, here's the first part. Part one. What's the story? What's the story, Dave? What's the story? Well, in fact, it's a question for you. So, what is the story? Seven times nine equals 63. Right, on my planet, we got big bobs. Oh, you have got bib bobs. Now, if you don't if you don't know what a bib bob is, it's like a cross between a cow and a chicken. Lazy enormous eggs. <laughs> Lazy enormous eggs. Yeah, so you had a, a bib bob. Yeah, one bib bob. And uh, what, what about it? It was seven foot long, Dave. Oh, okay. And then I gave it some alien juice. Some alien juice. And what was the alien juice called? Fizzy Wizzy Woo. <laughs> Fizzy Wizzy Woo. Yeah. And it's sort of like... It made it grow. And, and how, how big did it grow? It got to be uh, uh, nine times the length, Dave. Ah, 63 feet. Ah, so it was a seven foot long bib bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it became nine times the length. 63 feet. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, have you got another story? Yeah. On our planet, Dave. Uh, what's your planet called? Eric. Eric, that's right, Eric. On the planet Eric, yep. There are seven seasons. Oh, are there really seven seasons? What are the seasons called? Autumn. Winter, splinter, spring, string, summer, and mama. <laughs> We've only got four on our planet. We've got seven, Dave. We've got seven, Dave. So what's the question? How many seasons on our planet in nine years? Oh, that's a clever one. You've got seven seasons, and then over nine years, how many seasons? 63, Dave. I'm really like those are really clever stories, Ailey. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. And I've got a story. My story is about birthdays because that's what the title of this show is, Birthday Countdown. Um, so I've got a little song here that talks about the days and the weeks before your birthday. So one week, seven days that's on our planet. How many how many uh, days on your planet every week? Six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. I don't know how you get half a day. Anyway, so um, watch out for the number of weeks and number of days in this little song. My birthday, Dave. Is that you? No, that's not me. 84 days, 12 weeks, until my birthday. 77 days, 11 weeks, till my special day. 70 days, 10 weeks, until my birthday. 63 days.
that Dave I'm actually loving it it's my birthday it is my birthday so but when you count down the weeks and days to your birthday it's about the seven times table so I'm loving that um so here's a good question part two what does it look like what does it look like Dave well actually I'm going to put you down for a minute Ailey even though I've got my pineapple glasses on <laughs> they're my learning glasses are they your learning glasses are they they're cool aren't they <laughs> they're very cool you need to go because I need to pick up my abacus okay bye oh he's gone Right, here's my number one abacus. It's actually a Slavonic abacus, and I love it. So here's seven. There's seven, and I'm going to multiply that seven. So seven times one, seven times two, seven times three, seven times four. This is what the seven times table looks like if you're going to use an abacus. I love the Slavonic abacus because it's split into fives. So I can see seven here as five and two more. So I've got seven times four. If I did seven times five, seven times six, I can see six that way because I'm seeing five and one more that way. I'm seeing seven that way because I'm five and two more that way. Seven times six is 42. I'm loving that array. So that's one of my favourite favorite things. Ailey. Yeah, I'm coming, Dave. I'm coming. I'm coming. I've come in. I've come in. You dropped me scissors, Dave. Oh, and again. Yeah. <laughs> my arm's hurting. Oh, I was on you. <laughs> Oh, God, you're going to whack me in the face then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, so that's one thing it looks like. But do you remember this, Ailey? Oh, your football stadium. Yeah, we're trying to make this out of bricks. So uh, the other day, we went the on a... Mathematical adventures around the house. And uh, my wife... Oh, no, not my wife. Your wife. Yeah, uh, my wife. Um, Mena and I, we, we built it as, as quickly as we could. Are you using alien super juice there, Dave? <laughs> well, we were... It's a bit of a time-lapse thing, really, Ailey. Oh, and uh, we were building one of the stadium ends because there were two st main stands. This is one of the stands that goes at the end of the um, stadium. Look at that. Oh, we started again, Dave. <laughs> That's right, because there were two stadium. There's one at, w one at one end and one at the other end of the pitch. And that little gap in the middle there, you see, is where the goalkeeper's sort of rod goes through for the game. Yeah, seven times table, Dave. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing today, actually. And what, what you notice that when we, when we made these, there were multiples of seven everywhere. And I'm going to show everyone a picture of that in a moment. Oh, this is dead. Here's the roof. Love it. Hey. Oh, look. Here's some of the pictures, Ailey. Oh, yeah. So when, when we were arranging all the pieces for that stadium, uh, we put we've, I just put them in arrays to make it really easy to see how many there were. And I found those three arrays all with seven times table stuff in it. Seven times six. That's the top one, yeah. Seven times six. I got... We've got six rows and seven columns. Seven times six is 42, Dave. Yeah, and each of them have got five dots on as well. Seven times six times five. Yeah, that will give us the number of dots in the whole thing, which would be 210. Seven times five is 35 on the arms, Dave. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Seven times five, there's 35 arms there. And then the, the bits on the right-hand side, do you know what they are? 
legs. <laughs> they are. They are definitely legs. You're right. So they're seven times four is 28. So these, uh, they're all over the place then, Dave. They are all over the place. So it's time to do this. Oh, hold on. I've got another picture show. No, I haven't. What are you doing, Dave? I'm messing about again, aren't I? Yeah, what are you doing? Right, I'm going to do this. It's because we need to get to this stage. Part three. What do I need to know? Well, you need to know some things like this, Dave. Yeah, you do. You need to know your vocabulary. Yeah. Multiplicand multiplied by your multiplier equals the product. <laughs> it does indeed. So multiplicand is the number you start with. Your multiplier is what you do to the multiplicand. And then your product is the answer at the end. I'm loving it, Dave. Right, indeed you are. And then... The other thing that you need to know as well as the vocabulary, really, to be able to do anything with a seven times table is you just need to learn the facts. Oh, no, I don't. Well, you do. Well, you know some of them. Seven times six, 42. Seven times seven, 49. Uh, seven times 11, 77. Seven times 34. Don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, we, 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 in England, we need to know up to seven times 12, but it's great to know all those other ones as well. You could reason that one, though, seven times 34. I could do it, Dave. I'll do it in a bit. <laughs> okay. So here's my song to help. It's Table Troopers. So the first verse is about the multiples of seven. So I'll go seven, 14, 21, 28, and then there'll be an echo. Go seven, 14, 21, 28. Brilliant. And then the second verse is uh, is the multiplication table in order. So we do need to know that's knowing your table in order. But when you when you really know your table, you know it out of order. That's the challenge. So my challenge to you guys who are listening and watching is can you join in the song and do the echo bits and do the answering without looking at the screen? Because if you can, it will mean that you know your multiples and you know your table. Play the song, Dave. Is that you? <laughs> no, that's not me. They're mirrored. Oh, right, table troopers. Where are we? Train station, though. Train station, sir. And table troopers, which table are we tackling today? The seven times table, sir. And why, table troopers, are we tackling the seven times table? Because we're in training, sir. <laughs> That's silly. That's table troopers, silly. who are you? Table, table troopers, table troopers, learning. Marching on, table troopers, table home. troopers, keep marching with this seven times table song. Right, troopers marching in multiples of seven. Go, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two, forty-nine, fifty-six, thirty-five. 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 63, 70, 77, 84. Troopers only marching in multiples of seven. Go! 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84. Table troopers. This day, right. exercise. Troopers, time for trooper table facts. Seven times one is what? Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is what? Seven times two is fourteen. Seven times three is what? Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times four is what? Seven times four is twenty-eight. Seven times five is what? Seven times five is thirty-five. Seven times six is what? Seven times six is forty-two. Seven times seven is what? Seven times seven is forty-nine. Seven times eight is what? Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times nine is what? Seven times nine is sixty-three. Seven times ten is what? Seven times ten is seventy. Seven times eleven is what? Seven times eleven is seventy-seven. Seven times twelve is what? Seven times twelve is eighty-four. Table troopers, table troopers, learning as we. Hey. Table troopers, table troopers, with this seven times table song. I'm joining in, Dave, but right. I'm not looking. Troopers, time for trooper table testing. Seven times seven is what? 
Seven times seven is forty-nine. Seven times five is what? Seven times five is thirty-five. Seven times eight is what? Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times eleven is what? Seven times eleven is seventy-seven. Seven times nine is what? Seven times nine is sixty-three. Seven times two is what? Seven times two is forty. Seven times twelve is what? Seven times twelve is eighty-four. Seven times four is what? Seven times four is twenty-eight. Seven times one is what? Seven times one is seven. Seven times ten is what? Seven times ten is seventy. Seven times three is what? Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times six is what? Seven times six is forty-two. I know I'm Dave. Have a table trooper, Dave. I oh, can do it! <laughs> well I know it's been really helpful for lots of children learning their table dance. Oh, I think songs are a great idea, though. <laughs> oh, oh, I love table troopers. <laughs> oh, you see, you got your pineapple glasses back on again. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so here's the next part of the show, now that we know what we need to know. Part four. What can we reason? Oh, about birthdays, Dave. Oh, yeah. In fact, I want to reason about my birthday. My birthday is on the 4th of February. And did you know that 28 days before my birthday was the 7th of January? Oh, <laughs> isn't it? And do you know what? 10 weeks before my birthday on the 4th of February was the 10th of December. Oh, that's interesting, Dave. <laughs> and, and did you know that 13 weeks before my birthday was the 5th of November? Oh, and 77 d days before my birthday it was the 19th of November. Well, there's lots of reasoning there, Dave. <laughs> In fact, I can reason about loads of things. And calendar, putting a little calendar there and sorting it out is really, really, really helpful. I'm loving it. What about this, Dave? Oh, that's um, my, my abacus. Yeah, it's an array, 7 times 7. It is 7 times 7 equals 49. But um, do you know what's special about that? Is you've got the red bit here. 5 times 5 equals 25. It does. And the yellow bit in the top right-hand corner. Oh, 2 times 5 equals 10. That's right. Then the bottom left-hand corner. 5 times 2 equals 10. And the bottom right-hand corner. 2 times 2 equals 4. <laughs> it is. So I reckon if you add up all those products of those little arrays, you'll end up with the total of 49. And that is the product of 7 times 7. Cool, that's amazing, Dave. So, so with the 7 times 7, 49, you can partition it into four different arrays with the colour on the abacus. So I'm going to give everyone a challenge in a minute to have a go at that by themselves. Oh, great, I love it. <laughs> and, and you know what? I remember also when I was teaching, I was teaching some year five children, so there were nine and ten-year-olds. I gave them this homework that's on the screen at the minute. It was a set of um, spelling homework, and I... Almost immediately when I started introducing it to the children, I said to them, how many do you think there are? And one girl, she put her hand up straight away. She said, uh, 42, Dave. Dave. Well, she said 42, Mr. Godfrey, actually. Oh, she said 42. I think it's 42, Mr. Godfrey. And I, and I said, well, how do you know? She said, well, I can see six columns and seven rows. And six times seven or seven times six is 42. Oh, I love it, Dave. <laughs> I was really pleased that she knew her tables. It was fab. So, that's the that's the bit of reasoning. So here, Part five. what's the challenge? So what's the challenge is this? I'd like you guys to have a, uh, to do lots and lots of reasoning about your birthday. Now my birthday is the fourth of February. Your birthday could be anything. Wh when's your birthday? Seventy sixth of January. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be right. Anyway, when, <laughs> when's your birthday? And um, can you count the weeks and the days from your birthday? So what date is seven weeks from your birthday? How long until your next birthday? How many weeks? In fact, how many weeks, how many days, and maybe even how many hours there are until your next birthday? Oh, it's a bit tricky, Dave. Well, you can use your seven times table to do it. That's the challenge. Um, and then here's, so that's that's the one. The first challenge then is about your birthdays. And the second challenge is I'm going to give you that array. Oh, Dave, that's that. And I'm wondering how many dots are there? How many circles in that array? And, and can you partition it into four different parts like we did before? Okay, I'm just going to toggle to the number fun portal. On the number fun portal, you've got loads and loads of table songs. There's Table Trooper 3. Uh, if you click on, I've gone into seven to nine age range uh, and in there, into the ta times tables. There's another multiplication and division section as well, actually, but I've gone to the times tables. And if you click on there, you can see there's loads and loads of songs just to help everyone with their times tables and um, with all the videos and the understanding behind it as well. So it's time for us to say tutty bye. Bye. <laughs> Except we're not saying bye bye, yeah? Oh, 
no but by then <laughs> well <laughs> what's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna do the bit in a minute which is uh wait before you go oh yo it's my birthday yo there that bit we're gonna do that in a moment after you've had a chance to look at this screen how many dave well that's what i want them to work out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm counting them dave <laughs> no no i don't want you to count them i want you to look at the arrays oh Plot six, wait before you go. We're back, Dave. <laughs> we are back. And we're back with the solutions, if we can, to these challenges. So uh, let's have a go at the video first we've got here of, of this, this one. I wonder what you came up with for this one. Five times five is 25, Dave. They are in the red. And two times five is 10. They were the same as before. That's right, they were. Five times four is 20. Yeah, and on the right-hand side, two times four is eight. So if we put all those products together... 63, Dave. And that is the product of 7 times 9. 7 across the top, 9 down the side. I'm loving that reasoning, Dave. <laughs> I'm loving it too. So, and then the other challenge was about birthdays. Where's your board? Oh, oh hold on, just going to get my board. I can tell you what I came up with. So my birthday is on uh, the 4th of February 2021. And because this, this program is being... Uh, transmitted if you like and recorded on the 16th of april 2020 i'm thinking how long until from the 16th of april until my birthday on the 4th of february 2021 so what i did was i, I jotted down the initial letters of the months to come so april may june july etc i made a note of all of the ones that had 30 days in because that might help me to calculate quickly how many days there are um, so this is what i did I worked out oh, that actually there were nine months had 30 days in. So I thought, well, that's 270 days because I know that nine times three is 27. So nine times three tens will be 270, 270 days. Then I added up the bits in the purple there. There was another 24 days. So I reckon there's 294 days um, between <laughs> now and my next birthday. So that's quite a long time to wait. Um, and then I was thinking, well, how many weeks is that then? How many weeks? So what I did was I divided 270. 94 by 7 and it turns out it's 42 weeks exactly so what i did i used to find the hunk strategy i partitioned into a mega hunk 280 and 14 because so i knew 280 is a multiple of 70 and then that's 40 there two there and the 42 is my quotient so it's 42 weeks and then i tried to work out well how <laughs> How many um, hours until my birthday? Well, it's 294 days multiplied by 24 hours. 7,056, give or take a few, is the number of hours until my birthday. So that's my reasoning. I wonder what you came up with. Join us again. We're going to go uh, next time. Oh, we dropped it, Dave. Uh, dro <laughs> Where's your glasses? Get your glasses on properly. Well, we're going to be, uh, we'll see you soon. In fact, the next program, we're going to tackle uh, one of their, their tricky ones as well. Twelves, Dave. Yeah, we're going to go for the 12 times table. And hopefully that little program will help you master that as well. So uh, stay safe. We we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Oh, where's the screen, Dave? Oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> Yes, I've got there's loads of technology to do, I've got to do it by myself. I can help you. Yeah, but you're more likely to make it go wrong. Oh, I've got my pineapple glasses on though. Yes. They help. <laughs>